Hey everybody, this is Matt McCoy from Loop Community. I'm going to show you how you can transpose the key of a multi-track that you download from Loop Community. So, um, a lot of people ran into this, where they download a multi-track, and maybe it's in one key, but they actually want to perform it in a different key. Well, you can do that. You can change it very easily if you have Ableton. So what I'm going to do is we're going to open up Ableton, and we're going to use Arrangement View for this. So you can click this little icon here in the top right corner, or hit your Tab key. And we're going to look at Happy Day. So I've got this Happy Day multi-track. It's in the key of C at 140 BPM. So I'm going to select all these tracks by holding Shift, Select, and I'm going to just drag them in to Arrangement View. Now you can see, though, that it's trying to drag them all in horizontally. I'm going to hold the Command key, and it's going to drop them in vertically. And it's going to make new tracks for every single clip. Let's go ahead and hit play. Two, three, four. I'm going to turn the click on. And you can see that the click is not in time. That's because the click is set to 120, which it should be 140. So let's set this to 140 and hit enter. And you can actually see how it kind of all locked into the grid here. Now when I hit play, we should be in time. Cool. Intro, two, three, four. So with this multi-track, it came with a click, which I see here. I'm going to go ahead and just delete that. We don't need that. And now what I would do is I would go ahead and go through and rename all of these tracks. So we're going to, this is called Kick, Congas, Cues, Electric Lead, Fast Pad, Flute. I'm just hitting the down arrow and then renaming with Command R. Overdrive, Synth. Pad, scratches. I wonder what that is. It sounds exciting. Synth harp, tam, tones. That's it. Okay, so we named all the tracks. That's going to be important for when we export these. So it's good that you have these named correctly. All right, so now what we're going to do to transpose is we need to just warp everything. So I'm going to select all the clips. I'm going to select all the clips. And I'm going to hit this Warp button. And I made sure that I warped at 140 BPM. So that's very important. I'm also going to change this to Complex. And now I can actually change... I can actually change the tempo of the loop if I wanted. Say I wanted it 150. The reason I was able to do that is because I warped it. And I warped it at the original tempo. Down here is the original tempo. 140. Make sure that says the original. Okay. So now I'm going to transpose. So we only want to transpose, you know, the audio tracks that have instruments that should be transposed. So you wouldn't want to transpose a kick drum. Otherwise, it would sound like this which we don't want that. So we're going to leave the kick drum alone. And we also don't want to transpose congas. But the things we do want to transpose are, you know, anything with chords in it. So I'm going to select, I'm going to hold command and just select the ones that I want to transpose. So here's electric guitar, the pad, flute, that kick we won't use, synth, pad, scratches. I'm not sure about that. We'll have to listen to that in a second. Tambourine we won't transpose. Tones we will. Cool. And then now there's this transpose knob down here. I'm going to go up half steps. So let's say we're going to go to, we're in the key of C. Now we're going to do D. Let's hit play and see what that sounds like. Intro. Two, three, four. Cool. So now we're in the key of D. Let's see what those scratches were just to make sure. Okay, so they're just more percussive. So once you have everything transposed, I'm going to go ahead and just re-export all these as my new key. 
I'm going to go to File, Export Audio. And instead of hitting Master, I'm going to choose All Tracks. And this is where that file name or the track naming came in to play. Because what I'm going to do now is I'm going to save this to a new folder on my desktop called Happy Day D. And we'll say Happy Day D. And now when I hit Save, it's going to export all of those tracks as new WAV files in the key of D. So, hopefully that helps you guys, and we're glad you're part of the Loop community.